Glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? We can't worry about that now. All that matters is that we catch her killer before he strikes again. How much like her you sound. You are correct, of course. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. This is the place! You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you! Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's... there's gotta be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If that bomb goes off, but maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh... Will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <sighs> we did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is over. Duval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Duval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. 
He tries for the palace. He's finished. What was in that way? Boot tracks. With just a bit of blaze in them. Get to the fire and set up a bucket line! What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. Could you spare a moment to speak of the fire things? Sir. There's smoke you. rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. Durval did find a way into the palace. Durval. Wish I could be there. About to get on. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. Didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Looks 
motorcycle introduced. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Those majestic, murderous glint hawks. I felt that. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Majestic, murderous glint hawks. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. It's time for me to go. Uh, w wait a moment. As I said, I'd hoped you'd consider staying in Meridian. And why is that? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I, I could use someone like you at my side. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa, a woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa. Including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah. Uh, please. Accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time... ...to resolve my feelings. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. And in time... ...I'd like to get to know you better. Shall we leave it at that, then? It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising.
Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. <laughs>